Good morning. Honorable Chief Guest, Mr. Abdullah Al Islam Jacob, MP, and Deputy Minister, Minister of Environment and Forests. Mr. Chair, Honorable Guest in the podium, Scientists and Practitioners, Participants, Ladies and Gentlemen. It is indeed uh, my pleasure to be here in this 10th International Conference on Community-Based Adaptation on Climate Change, CBA 10. I am encouraged to see so many international participants, including policymakers, experts, researchers, academicians, and practitioners. Uh, I am happy to learn that many of you from different parts of the world have already visited some areas and communities. You have also seen how communities have already been affected and are facing the challenges of climate change. Climate change is a very critical issue for not only Bangladesh, but for the whole world. The environment, ecosystems and human society are now seriously challenged because of climate threat. The overall development and efforts of poverty alleviation are under high risk. The Ministry of Environment and Forest of the Government of Bangladesh has been working on this issue in collaboration with other relevant ministries, agencies, research institutes and NGOs development partners and communities. Uh, this conference is being held in a, at a time when, after Paris outcome, that you know that on 22nd April, 175 countries have signed this agreement in, uh, from the invitation of uh, Mr. Ban Ki-moon and Bangladesh also signatory to that uh, agreement. That means that whole world is now united to combat this climate change threats. And at this juncture, this conference is very much uh, timely, I think. And I appreciate the, uh, uh, I would like to congratulate and appreciate the organizers to arrange this conference in this juncture of time. Bangladesh has been very active in the international negotiations under the UN Framework Convention on Climate Change. We are now well prepared to uh, combat all climate threats and I think I believe that developed countries and international organizations will extend their cooperation in accordance with the Paris Agreement and the Climate Convention. The Government of Bangladesh has undertaken a number of initiatives to address both adaptation and mitigation in the country. The Climate Change Trust has been established under the Ministry of Environment and Forest to coordinate and implement Bangladesh Climate Change Strategy and Action Plan. The recently finalized seventh five-year plan directly reflects the adaptation strategy of the country to reduce climate vulnerability of the people. Before the Paris Agreement, the government of Bangladesh has submitted intended nationally determined contribution INDC. As an LDC, Bangladesh has no obligation to any commitment for GHG reduction. In spite of that, in the spirit of global cooperation and demonstration of our sincerity towards solving the climate problem, Bangladesh has expressed our unconditional commitment to reduce GHG by 5% by 2030 in the power, transport and industry sectors. Further, if adequate assistance is given, Bangladesh will reduce its GHG by 15% from business as usual level by 2030. 30. In the field of renewable energy, Bangladesh has made significant progress. For example, about 4.5 million poor households in Bangladesh have come under solar photovoltaic electricity. Further, Bangladesh has a very progressive climate change strategy and action plan to address the key issue of adaptation, low carbon economy, capacity building, infrastructural development and knowledge management. Being a most vulnerable country, Bangladesh is doing her best both in adaptation as well as in mitigation. Both as a country and as a per capita basis, we are such a small emitter that our contribution is insignificant, while the climate impacts are enormous. We expect that our develop, development, developed countries will follow Paris' decisions to rapidly reduce 
GHG. Adaptation remains in the heart of the most vulnerable life ours. We adopt as much as possible to cope with the negative impacts of climate change. But there is a limit of adaptation. I should say that when adaptation ends, the issue of loss and damage begins. We need to think beyond adaptation too, especially for the most vulnerable countries. I am delighted to see this conference is addressing the issue community-based adaptation, which is central to serving sustainable development, particularly of the poor communities. Further, your focus on urban issues is timely and will be most helpful to develop our plan and appropriate programs. The Government of Bangladesh looks forward to the outcome of this conference. On behalf of the Government and people of Bangladesh, I welcome you all again to Bangladesh. I wish a very pleasant stay and a most successful conference. Let us all expect that our future generation children will play in a green art, in the green fields, and will live happily ever after. Thank you all.